your girl brush and I'm back with another video don't forget to comment like subscribe hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video if this is your first time here welcome hello 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 if you've been here before what's up what it do baby boo love you shout out to my 15 subscribers I'm about to y'all okay yeah shout out to my 15 subscribers I about to y'all the long way okay um oh should I be cussing this early in the video YouTube not paying me yet. But anyway. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, This video, of course, is going to be my What You Watch Episode 2 video. And, of course, this is What You Watching with Crush Episode 2. Where, I'm, you know, I'm going to give you guys recap, review, and rating of things that I've watched. Movies, TV shows, and etc. But these are mainly all movies in one TV show. Um, so let's get into it, do it, do it. The first thing I want to talk about is this movie I had watched on Netflix for, um, Adam Sandler called Hustle. Um, it stars Adam Sandler, Buku, actual professional ba basketball players. Uh, Queen Latifah plays his wife. I got thoughts, feels, and opinions on that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get into it. So, it's basically about Adam Sandler being a recruiter for um, the for 76ers. The Philadelphia 76ers. Which I don't know basketball. Football is my sport. But, um, and so, he uh, winds up being offered the position of uh, assistant coach. But, of course, the owner of the team wind up dying. Spoiler alert. I mean, if you got Netflix, you should have watched this movie by now. And so he wound up, you know, him and the current owner, which is the son of the dead owner. I should have said it like that, but hey. Um, they kind of got like beef or whatever because the dead owner treated uh, Adam Sandler's character, I think his name was Stan, better, like more like a son than he did his own son. And it'd be like that sometimes. But anyway, he basically. The new owner basically talks shit to Adam Sandler like, listen, if you want to be assistant coach, you was better as a scout. I need you to find me somebody that's going to catapult, catapult the 76ers to that motherfucking team in the league, okay? So Adam Sandler basically goes, finds, you know, this ball player and trains him to be the best he could be. Um, and, of course, the reason they call it the hustle, again, spoiler alert, is because the dude be playing street ball and hustling. Um, I give the movie a 7 out of 10. I'm not going to tell y'all the whole movie. But I give the movie the 7 out of 10 simply for the fact um, Adam Sandler and Queen Latifah as a married couple was just unbelievable. I didn't feel no chemistry, no nothing. Nothing. I didn't feel like that lady really was hunching on him. You know what I'm saying? Because the first thing with them in it she may have kissed him on her cheek. And now, I mean, I guess married couples do that. I don't know. I ain't married to nobody, child. But that's my husband. I'm a kiss. Hey, baby. You know what I'm saying? She gave him a kiss on the cheek. Bitch. I don't care how. Mm -mm. But it's a good movie. You're going to cry if you will cry, like I always say. You're going to cry some moments. They're going to go, oh. You're going to cry. If you if you sensitive like me and you cry, bitch. You a sensitive gangster, you gonna cry. So I give the hustle, um, it's called hustle, not the hustle. But I'm black. You know, we put a done for an Eric thing. So I give the hustle. <laughs> Next movie up I watched on Netflix, uh, it's called Wedding Season, uh, where these two, um, Indian American people basically are being forced to go on a date by their parents. Um, their parents are mess child. And you know, so they pretend to be dating and then they wind up, spoiler alert, falling in love, child. But it's some shits. It's some shits with them. I ain't gonna get out of way, but it's some shits with them, child. Um, I felt like the acting could have been just a little bit better. Um, we could have drawn out the story a little more for me. Um... Other than that, it, it was a decent movie. I give it a six and a half out of ten. I know what you're thinking, damn bitch, a six and a half. It was decent. It was it was a lot of things I feel like could have could have been done a little more. 
But other than that, it's a good little movie. You gonna cry certain parts. It's a good little movie, child. Bitch, I cry. Okay. I'm an emotional gangster. So I give it a six and a half out of ten. Next movie. I, I've already done a review on this movie. It's up on my channel. Beauty. <laughs> Let the dragon be again. Um, I'm still mad at this movie. I am highly pissed. Anybody who says this is a good movie is a fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. If you say you sat there and actually enjoyed this fucking movie. Like, I'm playing. But like, what? Like, this movie low-key, I was bored watching it. Like, I don't know if I said that on my review. I don't remember. Go watch my review in the playlist reviews and etc or just look for beauty um like it was supposed to be given Whitney and it didn't it's like when you order you know how I like what what I order versus what I got that's that's what that movie gave like I thought I was gonna get you know some once upon a time in Hollywood if you never seen that movie spoiler alert it kind of flips some real life events on its head and I thought that's kind of like what this shit was going to give me no no so yeah I give beauty a 5 out of 10 I don't remember what the rate was I gave it in my review I did but right now I'm giving it a 5 out of 10 now, if you want to watch it to see why I gave it a 5 out of 10, or you want to watch my review, and then go watch the movie, and figure out whether or not, heck, go right ahead, boo. Go on, waste that hour of your life. <laughs> I know I wish I could get it back. Um, next up is this cute little teenage movie they did called Hello, Goodbye, Everything in Between, with that little black boy who could say, what's his name, Jordan something in Jordan Fisher, that's his name. And some little white girl. I don't know got their people's name. I just know a little black boy. Um, he was in uh the reason I know him because he was in the second um to all the boys I love before. All the boys that I love you more. <laughs> that's the song by Carrie Hilson. To call to all the boys. Um, every time I hear the name of that movie, I think of that song by Carrie Hilson, which is actually one of my favorite Carrie Hilson songs. Um, anyway, I give this movie a 6 out of 10 simply because of the montage. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really like movies that do montages because I feel like we skipping over some shit. Even though technically they did go back and show us whatever, but I don't really care for montages in movies. That's mm -mm. Uh, also, the fact that that little girl was, like, guarded as fuck at her age. But I guess we all are when, you know, spoiler alert, we're children of divorce. <laughs> um, because I'm an adult child of divorce. Which, by the way, that actual movie called Adult Child of Divorce is funny as fuck. But, that ain't part of this review, but... A good movie recommendation, either way. So, yeah, I give it a 6 out of 10. I feel like we could have done without the little, little montage or whatever the case may be, child. Um, I don't think I cried watching this movie. Matter of fact, I think I was talking shit as I was watching the movie. I tend to do that. <laughs> as y'all will learn. Um, yeah, but I give it a 6 out of 10. It's, it's a cute little something to watch. You know, it's what's on Netflix. You don't feel like watching. Like, fuck it. I put this on. And you might peek up at the screen every once in a while. Um, the next movie I want to talk about is called The Weekend Getaway. It stars that girl who was on, um, what's it called? Gossip Girl? What's her name? Mika, Meek Lesnar, whatever the hell her name is, that one. I should find out this lady's name and not tell y'all half of what her name is. <laughs> what is this lady's name? What's her name? Light Light and Meester. That's her name. So, um basically her and her best friend, they go on a, like a girls trip to um Croatia or whatever the case may be. And child, let me tell y'all something. The twist of the end 
Bitch, I was not expecting it. Okay? Like, I kind of figured it out. But I was like, what? Because, let me tell you something. I thought like she thought. But then I was like, no. And then I figured it out right before she did. I was like, bitch. But I'm going to just say, I don't think. Did she call the police? I'd have killed her. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Is it really a spoiler? Y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But until you watch the movie. But it's a good little movie. Um, you know, her homegirl, they going out having fun. And then her homegirl disappeared. And so now she looking for her friend. And, bitch, this is why I don't go nowhere. <laughs> I, I don't go nowhere. But to work in the store. And here. That's it. That's all. Um, I give that movie an 8 out of 10. It's a damn good movie. Um, I felt like it was certain parts that could have been just a little better. I am one of those people. I will critique a fuck out of a movie. Just small, intricate details. Um, I watched a movie like, what, the beginning of the year? When the fuck did that movie come out? Yeah, the movie came out in March. So, yeah, I watched it at the beginning of the year. Um, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna rewatch that. I'm gonna rewatch The Weekend Getaway. Yeah. To make sure the, the part I didn't like is what I didn't like. Um, so yeah, I give The Weekend Getaway an 8 out of 10. It was really good. It was really good. Go watch it. If you like those, uh, movies that's like a thriller, mystery type jam, go watch that. Ooh, I just thought about it. It's another movie I had watched. With, um, Brenda Song, London Tipton. Um, what the fuck is the name of that movie? It was on Netflix. Matter of fact, let me find out the name of that damn movie. Oh, Secret Obsession. Oh, but that came out in 2019. But, child, let me tell y'all something. I knew what I had knew. Let me tell you something. It could have been better, and I feel like they needed more people than just her, the other man, and uh, he's a good man, Savannah. Uh, De what's that man name? Dennis Hasbury. That ain't that damn man name. Is that his name? Hasbury. I call him Dennis Hasbury. But yeah, I mean, it was other people, but I feel like it should have been, yeah. Um, that was a good movie. I did like Secret Obsession. That's the type of shit you gonna be, <gasps> ooh. Um, I give that movie, even though it's not on my list, but I, cause I was talking about thrillers. With the weekend getaway, I get that movie a seven out of ten. I liked it. Okay, I liked it. I'm I like shit sometimes people don't like. But anyway, the next thing I want to talk about is the only series on my list for this episode of What You Watching with Presh is First Kill. I also have a review of that up on my channel. Um, I was drinking. I was drinking when I did that review. So this is kind of my way to redeem myself. But if you want to watch that and laugh, go right ahead, honey. Go right ahead. It's in the playlist reviews and etc. on my channel. Um, first kill, of course, um, the synopsis is about two young ladies who happen to be like star cross lovers. It kind of gives that Romeo and Juliet vibe, like I said in my review, because one of the young ladies happens to be named Juliet. Um, the other little, the other young lady who was played by this beautiful actress named Amani Lewis, um, who, you know, her being the co-lead, a dark-skinned female, like, I talked about that in my review, too. I talked about that more than anything in my review. But, um, Sarah and Amani, they did a damn good job with First Kill. I am still highly pissed and upset with Netflix for canceling them after their first season. Fuck you, Netflix. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You Netflix. Fuck, 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 fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Netflix. Um, for canceling first kill. Now, don't get me wrong. I did talk cash money shit in my review about their CGI. Because what the fuck? What's that shit? Like, I don't know why Netflix CGI is trash. They <laughs> Netflix have some of the most trashest CGI. Like, 
to be honest, CGI, modern day CGI is a whole lot worse than the CGI I grew up with as a child. Because CGI now, it's like y'all have the money and the technology to make this shit look flawless. And now it's just like, I can tell you made that with a computer. It's commute, like, it, it's trash. Y'all need to find out how they was making CGI in the 80s and the 90s, early 2000s, and do that. Do that. Do that. Y'all. Y'all are heavily CGI and shit. Because half of these movies are being filmed on green screens and shit. So yeah. But anyway. Um. What was that? Oh. First Kill. So. I liked it. The storyline was very good. You know of course. It's called First Kill. Because both of these young ladies. You know. They have to get their first kill. Um. Spoiler alert. If you haven't watched it, Juliet's a vampire. And, uh, Calliope, that's her name? Kel. Uh, she is a vampire hunter or monster hunter or whatever the case may be. Now, me personally, I felt like y'all just could have did some cash changes, uh, with the, with the side characters, the families, and got better CGI. Y'all could have got rid of them two brothers who, you know, they're part of the community. Bitch, I know my people who in the LGBTQ plus IA community when I see them. This is filmed in Georgia. I'm not stereotyping, but bitch, I know a gay when I see a gay. And Apollo and what's the other one? I called him Athea. Apollo and Athea. Apollo and Thea. That's what I called him. Because <laughs> Paula and Thea. Y'all could have got new people to play Paula and Thea. Y'all really could have. Um... You know, the mama was good. I fucked with, with Calliope mama. Um, Calliope daddy is fine. Hey, Jack. I follow him on Instagram. Hey, Jack. <laughs> That's a fine-ass man, okay? And I'm upset I ain't gonna see him for a season two. Netflix, we need a season two, goddammit. Fuck y'all. Y'all still got time. To rectify y'all wrong, okay? 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 Y'all got time, bitch. Y'all got time. Y'all got motherfucking time. As far as the family go, um, even though the daddy fine, we need a new daddy, too. Like, the daddy fine. Don't get me wrong. But I felt like his acting was a little subpar. <laughs> Just, he was trying to war it. Like, y'all could keep Oliver and his brew high, honey. I'm here for that. Okay, I love me a black witch. What? Because black girl magic. Period. Um, Calliope's sister. What's the heifer name? I forgot her name. But that's my bitch. Like, she would have fit in perfectly with Vampire Diaries. If that bitch... She would have fit in perfect over there on Vampire Diaries. Now that I think about it, Julia's sister Loki remind me of, um, what shorty name? She was the original vampire. Rebecca. She reminded me of Rebecca. The mama, the mama was cool. I seen her other stuff. You know, the mama was a familiar face I knew. Out of everybody on the cast, the mama was the only face I knew. Everybody else was new actors. Um, the mama was a familiar face. Oh, and the principal was played by Braxton P. Hartner Brig from the Jamie Foxx show. What's that man's real name? I don't know. That's Braxton from the Jamie Foxx show. Um, so yeah, the mama, Julia's mama and the principal, that was the only two people I knew. Out the whole cast, everybody else was new. Maybe, maybe, don't, now don't recast Juliet and, and Kale. Leave them the fuck where they at. But get everybody else new. Except for the mamas. The mamas could stay. Because they beef. Let me tell you something. The mamas beef. Bitch. I fucks with it. The mamas beef was everything. Um, The grandma. Alright. Pizza real one. Spoiler alert. Um, she was my girl. But you know. The bitch had to die. But yeah, but all in all, I give First Kill a 7 out of 10 because it had a good story. The storyline and the plot of it was damn good. 
It's just the CGI and some of the acting was terrible. That's it. That's all. Y'all can all y'all had to do was get the CGI and shit fixed and recast some people. And bitch, y'all have y'all have been on the money. Like, let me tell you something. Vampire Diaries was a good series, okay, but after season five, the shit went downhill. Okay, they should have ended Vampire Diaries at season five. Me personally, I feel like they should have ended. That's that's my own personal shit. They should have ended Vampire Diaries at season five because a girl who played Elena, Catherine, Tatiana. What was the other bit? The other the first bitch that started all this shit. She was like, okay, y'all, season five and I'm out. They should have ended it right fucking there. Or at least have Elena die. I know. I was talking about first kill. Now I'm in the vampire diaries. But anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to what the fuck I was talking about. But they could have killed Elena and had David fall in love with, with Bonnie. They could have been David and Bonnie together. I mean, the bitch fell in love with a vampire anyway. Why not be Damon Salvatore? Side note, Ian Summerholder is fine as fuck. And for those of you who may not know, his wife played a vampire or uh, Twilight. She was the, the, the evil bitch. Well, she wasn't evil. She was the blonde who didn't like Bella. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Netflix, fuck you. Bring back first kill. Okay? Anyway. <laughs> and the last thing I want to talk about is... A documentary, I guess you could say, called Our Father. Now, I did wind up doing a review on this, but it's on my Facebook. <laughs> and I have to figure out a way how to get it off my Facebook. Like, download it to my phone, and then probably post it when... Or maybe I have to screen record it. I'll figure it out. But, I give for Our Father a 9.5 out of 10, bitch. That is a damn good documentary. Go watch Our Father. Let me tell y'all something. Dr. Klein is a nasty motherfucker. And I'm glad he is no longer allowed to practice medicine. Um, shout out to the... I, shit, I wrote notes, but... Yeah. Our Father is a damn good documentary. And y'all need to go and watch it. The Numbers. The numbers of children this man has fathered will have you sitting there like, bitch, what, bitch, what, number what, who, what, them numbers. <laughs> uh, it's all eight of the siblings that were like found on uh, 23andMe. Um, Jacoba, that's the first sibling's name, Jacoba. I knew I was going to figure out her name, because that's my bitch. She the motherfucking MVP, okay? Like I said in my review I had did on Facebook, Jacoba was like the welcoming committee once her siblings found out. Like, hey, how you doing? I'm Jacoba. Go on and inbox me so I could, I could tell you what's going on, bitch. Jacoba was welcoming committee. She was like, listen, we going to get them, Okay. We do not want nothing to really do with him. I don't like that man. The simple fact of the matter is he basically tried to threaten his kids and intimidate them. He didn't actually see them as his children. He said that on his own mouth because Jacoba recorded the motherfucking phone call. She's smart as fuck. Um, he was out here moving like the mob low key the way he was treating them people. And you know the people don't see him as their daddy neither. Like, the shit that that man did is so fucked up. It's like these women went to you to help start a family and you violated them. Like, for some experimental type shit. Like, technically it was like, almost like he was a part of like a cult type shit. Um... Because he was like heavily involved with the church and all type of shit. Y'all gotta go watch it for yourself. Go watch I Found on Netflix. I give that bitch a nine and a half out of ten. It was so fucking good, y'all. Them numbers. <laughs> when they introduce a new sibling and tell you what numbers they is, you're gonna be like. <sighs> and I will tell y'all, spoiler alert, at the end it says, and counting. And counting, bitch, which means the number is up there in total. That's 
number is up there. It said the number and counting, bitch. And counting. I'm not going to tell y'all the number they said at the end. But I'm going to just let you know it said and counting. Oh, I can't. But yeah, that was episode two to what you're watching with Presh. Um, child. Fuck you, Netflix, for canceling first kill. All y'all had to do was recast some people or something. And calm down on that CGI shit. Y'all could have stunt people dressed up in suits or something. I don't know what to tell you, child. But that's the AGM. It's horrible. But anyway, y'all, that is, is it. That is episode two to what you're watching with Presh. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. But and share my videos wherever you see fit. Let people know you fucks with your girl, though. Um, once again, shout out to all 15 of my subscribers. I fucks with y'all a long way. Hey, baby. Love you. Bye.